everyone, welcome to September Empties. I went through a lot of hair, but the main thing I'm really proud of is the makeup. And I also have quite a few vitamins in here. So let's start in with the hair in the shower. I do my own hair with the Revlon. This is the light blonde and it's number 81 and the medium blonde number 74. I use either one of these with just a splash of the 04. And the 04 helps to give it a little more lightness. I don't like going too light. In fact, I'm wondering if I could get away with just the 74. What I do is I take an empty bottle of this and fill it just over three quarters of the way with the darker medium or light blonde that I'm going to use and then less than one quarter to get it up to the level where it needs to be of the 04. So it's primarily one of these two and like I said I'm trying to use less and less 04 and just going more and more towards the medium blonde especially for winter. This is a Nioxin number one conditioner. I like Nutriox much better and I don't think the shampoo or the conditioner are needed. I find I get the best results with putting things on my hair out of the shower when it's dry. I derma roll and then I put on the Kirkland Minoxidil and I'll put a video link below for how I derma roll my hair. But I definitely don't think the shampoo or conditioner are worth it. This I put into my old Nutriox bottle from Sally's because it has a good nozzle where you can spritz it on the areas. My hair is growing like a weed. I have a feeling it's due to this. I want to wait a bit, but I think this might even work better than the Nutriox from Sally's. And I get three of these off Amazon for, I'm not sure, I think it's around $20. So it's a very good price. And I'm still experimenting with that pump. I don't like this. It's really hard to, you know, undo it and to have that squeeze dropper and not end up wearing it everywhere. So I put it into that Nutrox um, pump that I have and it works really well. This Aussie, I love any Aussie conditioner. I think they do a great job. This Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I've talked about this a lot. I love this on my dry hair. I take this and some jojoba oil or the Trader Joe's conditioner and some jojoba oil and just put them all in between my hair at hands and on the dry hair I just lightly run it over and it gives my blonde dry hair some more oomph and moisture especially if I've been using hairspray and in between shampoos this really helps to give it some life back until the next time that I shampoo. And then two bathroom items we got this Super Oxygen Bathroom Foaming Cleaner at the dollar store. I had it in a favorite. I love it. You spray it, whether it's on your sink or your shower floor. Just let it sit for a minute. It goes from blue to white. And then I take a brush that we have in our bathroom and just give it a little scrub and rinse it off. And it really gets rid of our footprint marks in the bathroom. Any soap residue or toothpaste residue on your sink, for a dollar, you cannot beat that. And then this is my favorite spray in the bathroom or just around the house in general to freshen things up. This Glade Cashmere Woods. I think it's 97 cents at Walmart. Amazing deal. And if you spray it in the toilet, it's like poopery where nobody knows you've been in there. I have two skincare items, the Earth the Skin. I really like this avocado overnight. This citrus day cream was nice, but my skin's probably a little too dry for it. If your skin isn't as dry, you might like it. I really did enjoy the avocado one though. My favorite is in the tube, the banana under eye brightener. I use that every night and every morning. It helps a little bit to lighten your dark circles, but more than anything, it's like the Ole Hendrickson where it kind of covers it before you start doing your makeup. I put oils and different things on my face before I start my makeup. For personal items, I am still boosting my immune and trying to get healthier and stronger. Model Lauren is a huge part of that. I think we would have been much sicker if we hadn't had the Model Lauren, and it also hopefully is protecting us now. It surrounds the bad bacteria and doesn't touch the good bacteria. It definitely helps boost your immune. Turmeric, I love it. You have to get the one with the black pepper in it. Um, my Indian friends laugh at me that I actually have to buy it. They just use it so much in all of their cooking, but Mark doesn't like that type of cooking, so I take the pills. 
Vitamin C, this is not a really high quality one. I take vitamin C pretty much twice a day to try to keep my immune system up. It also helps penetrate viruses. Potassium citrate, I'm making an extreme concentrated effort to get more leafy greens. And I do take this once a day as well, just to try to help oomph all of my levels that I need for the uh, K2. And then my allergies have been killing me. This is from Kirkland. This is the Allerflow. It's the season. My under eyes hate it here. I love it. So I do what I can to mask it. I do honey. I uh, take betaine to help make my stomach more acidic because it's too alkaline. And then this helps just um, once a day in each, or twice a day in each nostril. And the last personal item is Crest 3D Luxe glamorous white. I did not like this cap. I don't like how it comes out. There's the other crest one that I like better than this and I can't think what it is. I mean this is okay. The packaging is horrible though. It gets all goopy and drives me crazy. I have horrible luck with these Real Techniques brushes. I don't get the ferrule wet and yet they all start shedding. They start The glue starts loosening. I think I'm the only one. All of you seem to love them. I have nothing but problems, so I will not be repurchasing that. I'm letting this go. It's a bright pink. It's a little too bright for me. I've even tried mixing it with concealer. It's just, I've gone, my tastes have changed and I like more neutral colors. So I'm gonna let that go. This, I really enjoyed the NYX Epic Ink Liner, but it leaked everywhere. I was putting it on one day and I, had black all over my hands and a smudge on my cheek. I'm like, what's going on? It just started leaking. So that is being let go of. This Essence uh, Brightening Powder, I've used it up as much as I can. I even at the end started using a small eyeshadow brush and using it just to set some of my under eye powder. I'm starting to get to the point where it's not worth it. I've got lots of other powders. And then this is Wet n Wild in Precious Petals. It's really pretty. I liked it on my eyelid with uh, peachy orange shadow in the crease. And it's really nice. For a highlighter, I don't like it as much. I like more, I think Golden Crown is the one that I'm working on now. And it is more whitish yellowy gold. And that's more my cup of tea. But this is beautiful on the eyelids. I found this in my backups and I thought, oh great, I need another gloss. It's an e.l.f. Hyper Shine gloss. I don't know if they make it. It's horrible, it's thick, it's goopy and sticky and I'm not using it. <laughs> my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, I do go through these pretty quick but I think they're like two or three dollars. I really like these, they're easy. I like to mix my gels, powders, pencils, all different things so that you get more of a natural look with different colors as well as the different textures. But if I'm in a hurry to get out the door and only want to use one, it's going to be this e.l.f. brow pencil. These Kiss Strip Lash Adhesives, I'm not sure, but I might be allergic to the tube of the black. It's waterproof, it's harder to get off, but I find my eyes end up more watery and puffy when I wear that. So I've been experimenting with just using this no problems. So this goes through pretty fast and it gets thick towards the end and you have to let it go. I don't like how quickly I go through it, but I like the fact that I can wear it without a watery eye reaction. A couple of uh, concealers. I always have multiple concealers on the go. Usually Maybelline Age Rewind is one of those in there. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect in Light Nude. It was too similar of a color to my skin tone. I like something a little lighter. So I use this mainly on my um, eyelids for an eyeshadow primer. When I used it, I liked it in the beginning and then it would get too dry on me. I know some people swear by this. I think if you aren't as dry as my skin, you might have good luck with it. And then this e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Light Sand, I love it. I really do. It's not quite as good as the Tarte Tape Shape, but I find the Tarte Tape Shape is more drying. I've also gotten this one in the camo, uh, sorry, in the hydrating, and I don't like it as much as this one. This in light sand is my perfect color. And then my super glue, I get these two for a dollar at the dollar store. I use it all the time. My nails stay on 
pretty much for two weeks and you know I'm doing dishes, washing floors and everything like that. I think that's everything. So thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I hope you picked up a tip or two and I hope you're having an amazing week. We'll talk to you next time.